Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 7 of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Now it's just The Legend of Zelda, because we just destroyed Majora's Mask. Or technically it's just a Majora's Mask balloon, I know, but just give me my moment of glory. Alright, uh, so, yeah, in the last episode I said we were going to the Telescope Guy's place to get the moon steer again, for no apparent reason at the moment to you. But there is to me, trust me. Alright, um, I might as well actually show this off too. Come over to the scarecrow here, to Pierre, and take out your ocarina in front of him. Oh, baby, that's a nice thing you got there. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. Uh, sure. That is the song you think it is. It's not in this game, so. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a nice tune, baby. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Want to learn it? Actually, we already know it. So it's the inverted song of time. It also tells you another one that I'll be explaining in a little bit. So yeah. So basically, that what I just did there, I set up my Scarecrow song for if I ever need it. I don't think I will within the first three days here, but... You know, it's nice to show it off. It's pretty awesome. Can I just take this Moon's Tear? That'll save me a little bit of time. That is one of the lunar... Wait, that's one of the lunar rocks that has been blazing from the surface of the moon lately. They fall from what looks to be the moon's eyes, so I call them moon tears. They're at rare stones valued by many in town. Well, that's cool. Alright. Yeah, it's enough of your jibber jabber, old man. All I can't do the telescope, hell yeah. Um, but before I look up at the skull kid, check this out. That guy from the Deku flower, he's flying away. And they said that we need to get them, give him the moon's tear in order to make him go away. He's just going away on his own. What's he doing? Where's he flying off to? Let's just follow him like a creepy stalker. And he's gonna fly right into the telescope, and let's just keep following him. He get, I think he goes up over there, yeah. I often lose him when he flies into the telescope right there. But thankfully, I kinda remember his path now. Because I'm awesome. There's a guy in a tree there. What the hell? Oh, no, I think I'm gonna lose him again. No! What? Oh, there he is. Cool. Come on. Do something, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's going to that hole. I guess that's his migration place. He's going to go hibernate, sleep for about two years. But of course, when we go back into town, he'll, stu he'll still be in his flower. By the way, what does he carry in those bags anyways? Is that all his food? All his perishables? Whatever. Yep, Moon's Tear. We've seen all this before, except it was nighttime the last time we did it, I think. And now it's daytime, so it looks a lot uglier. It looks a lot prettier at nighttime, in all honesty. Yes, it was the moon's tear, whatever, blah. Let's go pick it up. Because we can. Termina Field. Termina Field. I believe that Termina comes from the Spanish word terminar, which means to end. So technically, term Termina would be he ends, or she ends, or you end formally. Yes, I'm a good Spanish talker but not a good English talker. Alright. So that might have seemed like a colossal waste of time, but trust me, it's not. Later on, you'll be glad that you did that. And also, yeah, we're gonna have to give the moons here to the Deku guy, so that we can get the land title deed. That's really what we want. We don't want the moons here, we want the land title deed. But, of course, the moons here is an accessory to getting that. And now I can't think of stuff to talk about, because this is a really boring trip that we've already seen once before. Whatever, man. Just whatever. Let's just keep on going. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Alright. Hey, guy, you haven't passed my test, so how do you know our secret code? Nobody but the bombers know that code, so why do you know it? Listen, guy. You're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we knew. Now that's something. I like you. Well, maybe you should make your code a, li a little bit harder, just saying. What's your name, guy? Argon, huh? That's alright. That skull kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. Ooh, stuff. You don't want to do stuff, man. That's bad. I'm making Argon a new member of the Bombers Gang instead. This is the Bombers Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Um, no thank you. I'm not one for reading. Yes, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. 
Yes. I think it's so we can keep track of people's schedules. That's kind of creepy, stalkerish. One, find troubled people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Two, promise to help them. Mark, promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late in fulfilling your promises. Three, whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So, so a happy sticker will be added to your book. Damn it, it's gonna make you happy whether you like it or not, buddy. Four, no removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. Tab, you tell that skull kid he's out of here. You're out of here. He's been acting like a real jerk lately. Like a real jerky jerk. Jerky McJerkerson. Alright, uh, what? Okay. For a minute, I didn't think I was recording my voice. Now I'm like, oh my god, that's horrible. Okay, um, what time is it? 10 something. Oh god. I mean, what in game time is it? So, we're gonna go ahead and head in here over to this place. Because there is stuff for us to do here. Oh, by the way, um, since I never showed this off, here's what the Great Ferris Mask looks like. Don't worry, it doesn't turn you into a great fairy like the Deku Mask turns you into a Deku Scrub. It just makes you look like a great fairy. Alright. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, yes, yes. I say you have the face of a pro. I have the face of a child. A child pro? A pro child? Proactive child? The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. Well, I should hope you do. Especially when they're your son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat and I've lost five pounds. Oh, that's very bad. You haven't anything, though. Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? Sure. Oh, why, of course. You are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. And we got a cafe mask. Yay. Where'd she get this, anyways? Did she, did she just have this mask made? of her son, randomly. Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife, was added to your notebook. You took the work of a pro. This was added to your notebook. The pr of a pro, really? You have to say, of a pro. Are the fans damped lately? That's the greeting used among us, or really? Is that how the Gazoras really say hello? That's kind of awesome. Now every time I talk to Azor, I'm gonna have to say, are the fins, fins damp lately? Thanks to you. Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, the manager of the band, the Indiegogos. I'm out of business cards, so is our greeting will have to do. The Indiegogos is a popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put a lot out a lot of songs. One of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Well, I will, if I've played Link's Awakening. Oh my god. That's pretty epic. I, li I like how they do that, like, certain references within the game. Huh? You don't? Really? Even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if, it if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. Toto, the band manager, was added to your notebook. Cool. Anyways, um, so yeah, there's this guy. What's he doing? Let's see. <laughs> I am Gorman. I am of the Gorman troop. I have an appointment to meet with Madam today. Oh, really? Well, then that should be fine if you just go in. Gorman, the leader of the traveling troop, was added to your notebook. He looks a bit like a Ouija from the last game, if you remember. Or Ingo, if you prefer. Oh my god, he's gonna walk right through me. Uh, what do you say on your own? Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room. And it's also Madame Aroma's office. Well, you're creepy. You're trying to seduce me. Moo. Cool. Uh oh, changing music. It's all dramatic and scary now. Moo again. All right. Um. Sorry if I'm not talking about really anything interesting. It's just kind of, I'm just kind of like going around talking to all these people because it's just that's kind of what the game is about, really. Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without the mayor's, without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are the public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor, the carnival committee members, please re order those who, re who remain to evacuate. Uh-huh, well... You cowards! You do actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folk simply call a pen by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. Look up in the sky, buddy. Does that huge chunk of rock seem like a groundless theory to you? 
Soldiers could prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Mr. Man? Uh, hmm, well... Are you serious, Muto? It seems that a giant chunk of rock above, your above us hasn't caught your eye. That's what I was saying, man. Power to the people. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Mm -hmm. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Viskin. We councilmen will stick, stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Deltour? Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> nice. Yes, Mayor Deltour was added to your notebook. And now I'm completely silent for no reason. What are you doing? I thought you already went into this room, buddy. Jeez, I'm spending this whole episode just talking to random people. Alright, walk faster. Look how slow he's walking. Holy shit. Oh my god. I might want to speed this up, but probably not. Right, just a little bit more, buddy. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Link's checking himself out. That's really creepy. Alright, let's talk now. Madame Aroma, I am Gorm. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do. Ah, yes. They cancelled just now while I was talking to you, mid sentence. They just called me for my magic earpiece, and now that's now cancelled. Well, wha what's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work at this year's show, or that was the plan. I am Toto, the manager of the Zorban, and the Indiegogos. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident at Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva of the Indiegogos, has lost her voice. Whoa, that's quite unfortunate. Maybe we can do something about that later. Who knows? Why? Why? The details are quite long. The details are quite wrong, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then this me then this means the Gorman troops j job is <laughs> It's off. But, but, but that's That's all, Gorman. There's no there's no always next year. I'm busy with other matters. Oh sad face Gorman is sad face. Alright, so uh, I've spent the majority of this episode so far just in the mayor's office. I need to go do something productive, man. Jeez. This has been the most pointless episode ever. Alright, um, by the way, cafe mask, let's show it off. I'm just gonna pretty much show off every mask once we get it. Yeah, so you can wear this and talk to different people, and they might tell you about the whereabouts of cafe. And that's a side quest for another day, trust me. A day much, much farther down the road. Alrighty then. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and head over here now, and there will be something interesting for for us to do over here, I believe. Uh, in this place, this place. Why do I sound so excited? I don't know. It's really exciting. Look at this. This is awesome. It's the Sorbonne School. Oh my God! I'm so happy. Really, really, really. Oh my God! I'm gonna have an orgasm or something. No. 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 Mm. No. What? Link. Don't take out your ocarina. Are you gonna play the ballad for the nice little man who's bobbing his head here? Who sold you bomb shoes in the last game? Moo! I'm really random. I'm I'm totally hyperactive right now. Um. 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 I'm trying to think of something funny to say. I haven't said something funny in a long time. Um. You know what? Thank you everyone for watching. And in the next episode, I will maybe let you stop looking at this guy or maybe we'll just look at this guy for the entirety of the next episode who knows so this is Argon Matrix signing out thank you and good night